Hello guys, we just got an order of our wallpaper. It is peel and stick wallpaper. We got it from Home Depot and each roll cost us $65. The package says it is removable, repositionable and easy to install. So let's check it out. But as of right now, I really, really like this wallpaper. Just take a look how beautiful it is. So here are all of the tools that I'm going to be using today. I like to start with removing all covers from outlets and switches. I like to remove all imperfections before installing wallpaper. If you're not gonna remove imperfections, they will be visible on the wallpaper. Measure the width of your wallpaper. My wallpaper is around 27 inches. So I have some space behind the cabinet and I wanna put about one inch behind it. So I marked 26 inches and now, using a level, draw a straight vertical line. This line is a guide for our first strip. Measure the length. I did add 2 inches to the total length, 1 inch to the top and 1 inch to the bottom. Before installing the first strip, I like to fit it in the place where I'm going to be installing it and make sure that I did measure and cut everything correctly. Peel about 10 to 12 inches of the backing away from the paper. Apply the paper to the top of the wall, allowing one extra inch to overlap the bottom of the cabinet. I'm using smoothing tool to push wallpaper behind the cabinets. For narrow spaces I use plastic body knife. Now it's time to trim off this overlap. I'm using smoothing tool and utility knife blade. Use only new blades because they're really sharp. We need to find a matching piece for our second strip. Overlap the seam between neighboring panels by about 1.5 mm to avoid any shrinking that may occur due to varying room temperatures. Turn off electricity when you're trimming around outlets and switches. I like to cut a strip to the right size because it's much easier to work with it.
Now I need to install a wallpaper on a new wall. And we need to use a level again to draw a vertical straight line. Working from the top to the bottom, pull the backing away from the paper as you evenly press the paper to the wall. Push wallpaper to the corner with smoothing tool before trimming wallpaper. Just notice the frog upside down. And I thought I need to redo all wallpaper that I've done. The mall looks like in right position. The ladybug also in the right position, but all of the frogs, as you can see, just upside down. From first sight it looks nice and normal. The flower, the biggest flower is fine, mall is fine, ladybug is fine. We live in Florida and uh, we actually see those frogs in this position, upside down position. So this is how it looks and before the camera I want to show mm -hmm. the new roll of wallpaper. Uh, this is how, if, it will look. how it will look if the frog will be in the right position. I don't know if it's, if it's wrong, but we like it this way. Not because I just finished almost the second row, but it does make sense. This is the butterfly. And this is how I remove bubbles. You just push them to the side. You can do it with your hand or use a smoothing tool. The most difficult part of the wallpaper installation was definitely installation of wallpaper on corners. I did install all wallpaper myself, but I would recommend you to have someone to help you. Almost everything is possible, so if you're gonna spend a bit of time and effort, you can install everything yourself. And here is the final result. I think it looks wonderful. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section below. I'm gonna leave links for the products I used in this video in the description below. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with others. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.